Thank you very much. We, I mean, this is a hell of a match to start with. This is, first things first, a run back from the EU regionals. Toxic was defeated by Razy out there and eliminated from it um, back then. They've both gone Solag, a straight up mirror match to kick things off. Now, I get the feeling we're going to be starting this at 100 miles an hour. This is two players that have fought in tournament before. We understand they are both incredibly high level players, but also Razy has been playing Solag almost the entire time that he's been playing competitive Quake Champions. And so like really seeing a lot of game time now, specifically in the current state of the game, Razy and actually both, both these players in hindsight have been playing Sawlag from day one. So we're gonna see a masterclass on how to play this champion, I think. Razy is riding a lot of momentum as well, fresh off a good performance in the latest 125 FPS, where it was second place to Cypher, last champion on this exact map. So he's been grinding and doing really well for himself in preparation for QuakeCon. So uh, upon looking at the, the actual champion lineups, you know, this being dual, you get three champions, one life each. You choose them in an order you want to play them to try and defeat your opponent's team before they defeat yours. We have an exact mirror match here. So it's going to be Sawlag, Anarchy, and Slash on the side of both players. So this is just going to be a complete match of who can put these identical tools to better use. Actually, I must have think you might be a little bit blind there. That's Galena. That is not Slash. That's, not That's Galena. Not Galena. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, All right, moving on very swiftly. It is going to be a mirror immediately, though, with two saw lags. So the ticking damage isn't going to apply, but the impact damage of the asset does remain. Still, though, we've seen Galena quite a lot on Corrupted Keep, and it's actually been used by the side of Razy. You know, we saw in his play card, Corrupted Keep is Razy's favorite map. And if he can get that ball rolling and get those totems on deck, depending if he even gets to use her. Might see a one champion win with Sawlag based on what we've seen before, but I mean, these guys, they played at the European Regionals, right? And it was very one-sided for Razy at the time, but there's been a long time between then and now, and this first frag going down to the absolute oh, wire, and Razy's gonna take down Toxic so straight away. Now he's forced onto Anarchy. Anarchy is a really effective champion, sometimes at sort of catching you as you're weak, and he's spawned, but on this map, when you're gonna be so close, so many big pickups already. Hang on a minute, the LG comes in, wow, he was almost surviving, but not quite. At the last Whoa. minute, Toxic inches that one out. Did look like Razy was ever so slightly able to pick up some armor, but armor is no good to you if you have no health whatsoever. He's gonna get taken down and back into this Anarchy versus Anarchy to, for the actual second life. Oh, straight away, we're gonna fight. The mega health goes away of Toxic, which is gonna keep him alive and give him some chase potential here. I think Razy acknowledges that it's going to be really risky trying to fight for that heavy armor. Better to just concede it. Try and get your stack back up using those little health items. You're not going to be able to sort of overcharge yourself, but it's going to be enough to survive at least. Oh, a nice amount of damage on the rocket. The Corrupted Keep, let's not get this. is the map which does not have a railgun. It's all going to be down to machine gun for long range damage, lightning gun from the medium range, and then rockets for up close and personal. It really shifts around how you have to take these fights. Especially when you're a squishy champion like Anagi, but the mega health goes the way of Toxic. He's been able to control these pickups effectively so far. Like he's, he's taken the vast majority of them in this round. We'll try to pick up the heavy armor, is able to secure it. Razy, we can see, is quite low in health. Our armor, but is still here looking to fight. Is Toxic going to chase this? A little bit confident. Checking a couple of rockets just in case, but definitely doesn't want to overextend this early on. Oh, Razy, though, using the teleport to backing himself into a corner up there. And he fires way out, but it looks like Toxic is actually content backing up now, giving him a little bit of space to move. Yeah, give him the space and then try and maybe fight for the Mega instead. Does manage to take the Mega, a little bit overcharged, but not much armor right now. That'll be swiftly sorted out when this heavy armor spawns. But again, looks like Razy's been able to force Toxic away from it. Also securing the heavy armor. So right now we see Toxic been controlling it. Is he going down? Yes, he is. Razy realizes that it is time to take the fight, and he forces it into Toxic, and Toxic now on his favorite champion, Slash, by herself. Oh wow, huge damage on that direct rocket. Tries going for the teleport, but I'm not sure. Do they both have one HP? HP? Wait a minute, what just happened there? I think they both had one HP based on this, how much they had on the actual HUD itself. But trading out that frag for a frag completely in Razy's favor. As he actually has a champion advantage. So he can trade out that frag and not have to worry. He's going to win the round. Well, that's one way to start a round. Going straight in. Now, in between the rounds, you can change the uh, champion that you spawn with. As you can see right there, Toxic's gone Anarchy first rather than Sawlag, but Razy has mentioned his favorite champion is Sawlag. He consistently goes Sawlag first as well. A very sort of common theme when you watch Razy play duel. Now, we do tend to see Anarchy put up first because Anarchy, uh, Anarchy's ability, that ejection, upping his health permanently by one every time he uses it. If you have him first and can get an advantage, the longer you use Anarchy, the more health you will inevitably just gain as you play the round. Oh, oh nice. have time. So 
much life just completely obliterated by Reezy. He takes the first frag again. Toxic forced onto Sorlak before he can build up any momentum whatsoever with Anarchy. I mean, Toxic had the jump on him as well, but it's just the amount of damage that Sorlak is able to output with the spit combined with the LG. The health difference makes a huge difference in that kind of exchange. Toxic, he's in a bad spot. Razy with the cleanup again. Two champions down already. He's down to slash and we're not even one minute in. This is just a testament to how aggressive these duels can be. We can go down to five minute overtimes, one frag rounds, or we can have a complete bloodbath like this where Razy is just forcing the fight every time he can. But even if he doesn't get the frag, he's still gonna win that exchange because he's been able to force Toxic away from heavy armor. He has minimal. Right there, actually. I'm about to see if he has... Uh, no, oh, that's, that's, that's it. Dead. Wow. Guaranteed. Before I can even finish what I was saying, the damage over time effect working wonders. And that's the strength of a champion like Sorlag on a map like Corrupted Keep. Close range, close quarters, almost impossible for Sorlag to actually miss the spit in any degree. And if you're using small light champions, not only are you going to get good coverage on the map because you can see the damage numbers through the map, but the damage in itself just keeps the opponent on the back foot at all times. This match very much a, a bit of a playground for Sorlag, as it were, just letting her do what she wants and having a lot of fun in the process. Could be the toxic was able to secure the heavy armor, I believe. Razy getting the mega health, so that's one thing we'll see quite often today is trading the big pickup for the big pickup. Oh, looks like, yeah, yeah, toxic has opted to start with Sorlag again this time. Just trying to run that mirror from the first life onwards. I think one major element in this exchange is that the Corrupted Keep first is taking the rail Ooh, away. That was a bit of a misplay coming out for Razy though. Forced to use that acid a little bit early. Takes a lot of damage in the process too. But able to salvage itself with a bit of heavy armor. Toxic with the chase though. Definitely more than aware that he's going to be there. As I was mentioning actually, it's uh, the important thing about a map like this is that you've taken the option of a rail gun away from Toxic who has one of the best rails in the business. For sure, but we're seeing that massive difference. Toxic trying to just put this area denial on that mega health. No, it's going to be up in just a few seconds. He comes down, but it's going to go in the way of Razy. Is he going to win this 1v1? Yes, he is. Ever so slightly again. Razy is just getting the upper hand in these straight up 1v1 engagements every round. It's just his knowledge of when he can land an acid spit. Because when he goes in for the acid spit, almost every single time he activates it, he gets a frag. And that's just the knowledge. The amount of time this guy has been using Sorlag since day one. That's it. You know you know when to use abilities as game-changing as that spit in a fight. But this is just such a clash of a matchup, though. Toxic. What's the purpose injection already? Did any of the acid connect? It did indeed. So Razy's going to have an idea where he is for a few seconds more. He's going to see him going towards his heavy armor. And uh, Toxic, he, he is unbelievably weak. And you can see Razy, he's going to be a complete bully here. Tries to do as much damage as he can, but really, Razy knew where he was on the map because he saw the damage numbers and he acknowledged he's got to be weak in this situation. He was correct. 30 HP was all Toxic had. A bit of a miserable situation for Toxic to be left in now, though. Just Slash alone versus Razy Sorlag that has been his star champion, his favorite champion for so long. And there we go, just so quickly. The damage just adds up out of nowhere. And Razy taking a comp Confident first map off of Toxic. Slash on the side of Toxic. I mean, if you are a Quake 4 god, go with the Quake 4 champion. But Sorlag versus Slash first is going to be quite an interesting matchup. And just to really sort of touch briefly while these guys get set up, I know Sync Error during that duel video made the comparison that they looked into fighting games as a, uh, the sort of challenges that fighting games will face. As a couple of people that have played a, a, a couple of fighting games in their time, there are a lot of glaring similarities between the two genres, and matchups and champions is a complete example of that. Especially considering how it, how it adds that extra layer of knowing what their champion is capable of and how you, with your champion, can basically play around that, which is a big thing here. But Toxic straight away going into those three fast champions, Slash, Anarchy, and Nyx. A big thing here, though, is Nyx, the Ghost Walk, being able to completely nullify the damage over time properties of the asset that razy has been getting so much work out of. There's no doubt that Razy is more than aware of how much damage he just output. Going in for the kill, if you're Sorlag and you spawn with that much health and you know that you have enough damage. Oh, and speaking, of, oh, speaking of damage, Toxic just caught between a rock and a hard place. Just the knowledge of when to attack and when to go back. Like, crazy, really. Every single time he smells blood, he gets a frag. And that's just the way it goes so far. But this is just that ruthless situational awareness that we see a lot in Duel. There's a lot of passiveness here and there, a lot of being careful, a lot of waiting for your moment. But as soon as you have that confidence and as soon as you can smell blood and realize it is time to force that fight, Razy does it time and time again. And nine times out of 10 is coming away with the win. 
Oh, the acid didn't quite hit its mark. Breezy very low now, but oh, Toxic wait, no. stepped a toe into it. It collided at the last minute, so even though Toxic will survive this exchange, Breezy now knows exactly where Toxic retreated from. Breezy has quite a lot of space to build up health, taking very a little weak. while. Very the, Yeah, 50 health, 25 armor, 75 now. Doing a better job. Mega health is up too. Risky to go for the beggar in this state. A while before heavy armor also. I will say though, two frags down on the board already and less than two minutes in. Crazy's making this a very aggressive round. Normally we do see players quite prone to the timeout, really going for that defensive play, not trying to be too overly aggressive, but Crazy, he, he's, he's picking his fights perfectly. He knows when to go in, when to dip out and toxic now on this Nyx. I mean, let's not say it's an impossible comeback, but it's gonna be difficult. Three minutes left to do. You've got to take out that Sawlag first, and it's proved to be a real problem. But then again, when the Sawlag goes down, you've still got an Anarchy. We are yet to see Razy's Galena as well. Oh wow, Razy missed that quick shot. Toxic was able to nail it on his way through though. That's Toxic it. is known for that amazing accuracy on that rail. Give and Toxic a rail, and magical things do tend to happen. Now we're going to the slow paced game. We know Razy, he has the champion advantage. When the clock hits five minutes, we'll go into overtime. Whoever has the most champions left alive at the five minute mark will win the round. So right now, Razy has a commanding lead if we find ourselves playing for that. Every second will count. Razy now playing a lot slower than we've seen because he has the time to work with. It is on his side. Regular stack all the way as well. Here we go. Oh, unfortunately, another load of acid not quite hitting the target. It's going to be a considerable amount of cooldown though. Hourglasses will help now. 20 seconds left to go. Probably going to pick up the rest on the way. Toxic not forced to use his ghost walk either. Already, Razy managing to uh, almost have the acid spit back though. Oh, unfortunately, misses the rail. That's probably going to be it. And wow, just like a clay pigeon shot right out of the air. Round one to Razy again. I'm fairly sure Toxic had his ghost walk available though. Do you think he just didn't expect the follow up rail in that situation? Potentially. Definitely could have been what we saw right there, but. One round down again, he has, that's it. If it's two more rounds gone, and Razy's gonna take this one. Razy's starting with that saw lag again. I mean, Toxic needs to really try to win this first fight. If he can take out saw lag immediately, we know Razy's gonna be put onto champions that he hasn't played as much. I mean, that being said, I'm pretty sure there's there's no way Razy is not confident in any of the champions he's picked here. Like, if he's picked these three, it's probably for a damn good reason. Saw lag really has been the one we've seen the most of so far. If history taught us anything, getting rid of that saw lag from Razy is definitely easier said than done. Oh no! Misses the jump ever so slightly. That's going to force him to use the jump pad, and of which will make a lot of noise. And also puts him in a very dangerous position. Obviously going through a jump pad, you are in the air. You are basically a sitting duck until you hit the ground again. But Razy nowhere near. Heavy armor gets secured though. You see he's going to be very stacked on what is an incredibly tanky champion. Unfortunately, missing rails like that one, it's, it's not just going to be the fact that you don't do damage, but Razy obviously heard that. He's going to know that Toxic was nearby. Sound cues playing a huge part in duel, especially on this map. I see the patience though. Oof. Toxic goes for a quick shot, doesn't quite take it. Razy all the way at the end. Slightly different change of pace from previous rounds, especially in this series. Once can we find ourselves in a situation that they are trading the big power-ups for each other? Mega health to Toxic, heavy armor to Razy. But heavy armor on a tanky champion like Sawlag, we know just how hard to take down someone like that can be. Toxic not gonna miss the little jump this time. Well, with the natural health pool that Sawlag has access to, the second you get that heavy armor, you can tank your fair share of rails before you even are forced into a fight situation. Well, Here comes Toxic, actually, going in for the kill. Unfortunately, misses one of those rails, but one more is going to keep Razy in check. But just look at the health and armor differences. Even though he ate two rails, Razy is still healthy and can tank two more. That was all because Razy timed his presence there perfectly. He was able to pick up the heavy Ooh. armor in this situation. Oh, a nice quick rail game. Shot down from Toxic. Oh, they both missed a mark. But no, if Razy wasn't able to collect the heavy armor in that situation there near the heavy armor, he would have gone down for sure. But good timing is going to keep him alive. And again, we go back to the stalemate. No frags down on the board. You see Toxic. I mean, Toxic, considering how quickly he's losing his first champion in all these rounds in this series so far, I mean, I can understand the change of pace. You do not want to make a mistake that will cost you what could be your favorite champion. You know that. I've seen Toxic very confident on this Slash. But you can just see this movement. You can see why Slash on this stage is going to be so useful because she, she has the ability to just navigate freely. Any jumps that she really wants to take, with the exception of maybe a couple. Unfortunately, though, Toxic had a, a chance to take down Razy with that rail, but it was ever so slightly not quite accurate enough. Razy's able to survive again. I think
think this change of style is going to help Toxic quite a lot. I mean, this sort of like fast in your face style, it's just complimenting Razy. The second he goes in that close range, that is his effective range. It's where he wants to be. If Toxic plays almost for the timeout and the one frag, maybe we'll see better results. He's trolling the items really well, not getting bullied too heavily. I really like though how Toxic has been like the range he's been forcing these fights has been out of that effective range where Razy can almost like reaction place those acid balls, right? He's putting it in a situation that Razy has to like preemptively try and like, you know, lead where he thinks Toxic is gonna go. And because he's playing Slash, who's so good at juking left to right, it's really easy for him to dodge from the range that he's been forcing the fight. They were so close to each other right there, but with Razy walking, making no noise whatsoever, Toxic did not know he was there minute and a half left on the clock we might go down to a one frag round at this rate but we'll have to wait and see what happens as toxic has the jump on Razy. Razy though of course he says and again the acid doesn't connect Razy just has not been on point with the, with the uh, acid in this round but speed which toxic he's now gonna know how much damage he's done gotta be careful though because one direct rocket can still turn <gasps> the tide and wow i thought for was... sure that was gonna hit direct but only 29 oh. damage and there is the rail that he needed toxic pulls ahead with one minute left to go does he play the lane game for a minute does he try and go for a win on timeout if there was any moment you get a revenge token that is the time like finally getting that frag on Sorlag. He's now back in the action. Trying to evade Anarchy for 45 seconds, though, is going to be a bit tricky. Here comes the fight. Meets him head on. He's going to take that. That is probably going to be the round for Toxic. I do not think Razy can kill two champions in well, basically 30 seconds left with just Galena. But if we see it happen, it has to happen now. This is Slash. That Plasma Trail and the Mega Health. This is going to be hard to kill. I don't know if Galena has the speed to keep up with Slash. It's also the fact that if you notice where Razy, he spawned near the heavy armor, but he spawned at the bottom. With the exception of using like a nail gun jump, he's not going to be able to easily get rail. He's not going to be able to easily get rocket launcher. I mean, it's going to take time for him to even get those weapons. Now, 10 seconds left. He's got to get two champions. This is impossible. Now, this is going to be a Toxic going to take this round for sure. Going to tie things up one round apiece, showing signs of life absolutely by taking out Razy Sorlag first and then his Anarchy in swift fashion to follow up and Toxic even things up in the second map. So, what we just saw there was a distinct change in game plan and it worked. But if you're going to be Razy, you're going to be aware. I mean, what I'm expecting to see in this next round is Razy to be just way more aggressive and just prevent that champion lead from even being a danger to begin with. I think the, uh, one of the biggest things we saw was just a complete change of pace. Toxic was much more willing to get out of a fight if it looked, didn't look like immediately he was going to be winning it. Whereas before we'd see him commit quite a while because he was just confident he could just take that 1v1 and he would narrowly lose it. Most of the time, Razy would narrowly win that 1v1. But now Toxic is just, if he's not 100% certain, he is a billion percent going to win that 1v1. He is getting out of there and using the speed of Slash to safely put that distance between him and this very scary Sorlag. Just look at those weapons. He's got super nail gun for distance. He's got a rail gun, good to go. A lightning gun also. Forced to retreat here though. Really can't survive a rail at this health. Yeah, you cannot afford to be at rail health on uh oh. Oh, Razy comes around with the acid. One of them connects. No, no, wait. Eight health left as well. Could not afford to put a toe into the acid puddle. Uh, you but know. Toxic's going to be on the back foot here. You know for sure Razy's going to be kicking himself in that situation, though. It looked like for sure that Toxic had been hit by some form of acid there. It did not have the space to juke around. And with the amount of health being Toxic survived with eight health and nothing more. If Razy, like, clipped him with anything in that situation, this would have been a frag, but... Here comes Razy. He's got heavy armor as well, which means that if he wants to take this fight, he definitely can. But I think he opted to be a little bit safer right there. Toxic... Maybe expected him to take the Mega slightly earlier. He knows he's still there. I mean, if you see players just standing still, you know they're almost like, more often than not, listening out for pickups. They're listening for those audio cues Whoa. just to let them know where the enemies are. And Toxic's lightning fast movement will make him naturally hard to hit with those rails, whereas he himself isn't really having that problem. But as I said that, misses one, allowing him to be a little bit healthy. Oh. Raising a bad situation here, connects no acid again. I mean, he just gets a, a, a one single piece of damage over time, but not going to be enough. And Raisy's going to lose that sword. Like Raisy not looking quite as clean as we've seen him before. He's using the acid spits really early. Like, like Toxic is clearly as well forcing those acid spits away from him. So when he fights next, he's not got them available. And the second he's not got the acid, Toxic with his LG 
just became way more dangerous because it's going to be LG versus LG, not LG versus Spit and LG, which is what we're seeing more content. It is a massive drop in DPS when Solak does not have access to the acid for sure, playing around that ability. I mean, again, like we said at the start, it goes back to playing the matchup, playing against the champion, knowing that when they don't have that ability stocked, they aren't anywhere near as dangerous. But if they have the universal tools, like the rail, the rockets, the lightning gun, and almost like legendary trio of weapons. Ooh, only two damage though, not quite as much. Yeah, Anarchy was just so happened to be mid-jump during that transition, so taking minimal splash damage in that exchange. Oh, misses the rail. He's used to figure out and knows immediately that Toxic is up there. In some ways, I, I, that last minute jump actually to sort of not get hit on that bridge. Nice call from Razy to go for rail instead. And on that subject, now he's got a rail of his own. This long range game just became a little bit more dangerous for both players. Oh, ah, missing that rail that isn't like Toxic to miss the shots like that. Especially when Razy is just able to turn around with his own shot in retaliation. Toxic now on rail health. Armor's going to help him survive now. Helping him survive. Oh, but Razy is point blank. I don't think he expected him to be there. Razy's going to get the frag on Toxic, evening things up. Two champions left again. And Razy pops the injection so he's back to full health. But I think Toxic is quite close by. Oh, we have to go for the rail. I like that. Toxic. Oh, I was just about to say he's got no armor. And even though he missed that first rail, it didn't matter. He just cleaned house. And if you're Anarchy on spawn, you've got no armor and you get railed, that's it. One hit kill. See you later, mate. No Anarchy for you. That was so beautifully played by Toxic as well, though. Like, he actually spawned right near Razy. He could have gone for like an earlier fight if he wanted to, but he purposefully used the Ghost Walk just to get hold of the rail immediately because he realized okay it's anarchy i need rail to kill him and then as soon as he made that decision to go for rail and got that one shot all it took was literally one shot on that rail whereas he lost that anarchy is now on this galena but clearly toxic knew that and that's why he, he took that exchange it was very calculated and it worked out but crazy in trouble once again toxic not gonna try and overextend too much i mean once more he's got the advantage here he just has to run away from crazy for one rap well almost uh 40 seconds left. Uh, Toxic was staying close by just in case Razy let his guard down. You have to be so careful. As soon as you see Nyx go invisible and use that ghost walk, you have to be worrying. Is she going to use it aggressively? Is she going to try and assassinate? Or is it just going to be a way to get away? Ooh. Razy taking so much damage from that rail. Toxic really making them count now. But every time he gets hit, I mean, it, the pressure adds up, you know, more and more because every rail forces Razy to not be able to push so hard because. Even if you get hit by one rail and survive, a lightning gun will probably finish you off. A rocket launcher probably will. Now 10 seconds left. He's got Ghost Walk. No doubt Toxic, he's going to play this defensive game. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Razy has no choice but to go in, though, really. The Ghost Walk is popped. Three seconds left to go. It's going to be a miracle if Razy can get this. I don't think he's close enough. And Toxic slips away for another timeout victory. Two rounds to one. Toxic, one round away from tying things up. One map each. The change to be more defensive, to be more conservative, it, it, it really is night and day. It's definitely not what we saw on the first map, but really, I don't think Corrupted Keep even allows you to play that way. This hyper-defensive game, picking them off at range with Rail, not even to just get frags, but to keep them at bay, to keep them from being overly aggressive, not letting them attack you with full stack because the Rail just whittles the health down bit by bit. It works fantastically on Blood Covenant, but wasn't possible on Corrupted Keep. But this really just seems to be a speed that Razy just isn't that comfortable playing on toxic really forcing this to slow down playing at his own pace whereas before Razy, i mean we, we saw Razy's one of, clearly one of his strongest strengths as a player is winning those point blank 1v1s when he knows he has the damage and he has the accuracy to win those straight up 1v1s with lg's point blank toxic just isn't letting him get in that situation anymore he's conceded that okay i cannot beat you this way let me change up my strategies that would have been a horrendous rail to get hit by that would have uh, lost his slash really early on but an immediate adaptation raise he done there was he got the rocket launcher and he went straight for rail like his mission is to keep the rail away from toxic i know now he's been able to pick it up but just not letting him get the rail to begin with just trying to deny that important tool all these columns being the worst enemy of both players so far I will say, though, one notable thing about both rounds of Toxic as one has been um, keeping hold of the Slash, right? Being able to take out Razy's saw like before he loses his Slash. So he actually has the lead. He is in a position that he can dictate that pace. Whereas if he loses his first champion and Razy has three to two, Razy's going to be very happy to not take the fight. He doesn't need to. And there we go. Toxic manages to completely get in the wave and misses another rail. And Razy's starting to run away with very low HP. Toxic, I think he's going to be the one in control right here. He has so much more stack, keeping Razy on the back foot. He just needs to find him. 
definitely could have actually uh, got the frag there if he chased it, but once again, I don't think he wanted to risk it. Oh, Razy in a bit of a bad situation here. Toxic, though, doesn't seem content on chasing him too hard. I mean, all it takes is one wrong corner. You walk into a saw like has acid spit and a rocket launcher point blank to just delete your health, no matter who you are. That movement was insane, by the way. The whole reason Toxic beat Razy to Mega, I do not think Razy was expecting Toxic to get there as quickly as he did. Just the, the sheer speed of which he was able to navigate that map and get to Mega from Heavy that fast. He just beat him there completely. I don't think Razy was ready at all. Also, Toxic heating a bit of a psychic rocket there from Razy. That one step ahead mind. And again, we're going back to this neutral game. Once again, two minutes, 30 seconds. Razy, though, fully stacked on health and as much armor as he can carry at the moment. His ability to recover when that much health and armor down is very impressive. Like, he was in big trouble just 30 seconds ago. And already, just look at how much work he's been able to essentially undo. Now, here he's in trouble. No armor. But that's what happens when you pick up Mega Health as a tanky champion. We all saw just how much life Razy had lost before then. But picking up the Mega Health, he still has the health advantage. Completely. Can tank a fair few of those rails. And being able to tank rails is so important in this kind of matchup. Oh. Of rail for rail, this is getting to be dangerous territory for both players. Razy, though, he stacked on health and the acid spit. Ready once more. No champion advantage just yet. We have uh, about a minute and a half left, give or take. And oh, still, though, hitting these full screen rails on someone as small as Slash, easier said than done. However, hitting rails on someone as big as Sawlag, easier than usual. Completely minute and a half the clock again ticking down i don't think we actually had a six champion round for quite some time and again the acid spit toxic is just just staying out of the range of the acid every single time these fights take place but no matter what happens razy will always consistently have more stack which means that toxic can't really stay and fight even when the acid is down as long as razy has an lg and toxic has less health it's going to be advantageous for razy oh i was just going to win the ball there Razy getting hit by another rail. Toxic has just been making them count every single time. Toxic just glances at Razy. He's getting hit by a rail. Even if he's not scoring a frag from these rails, he's keeping Razy in a situation where he doesn't necessarily want to fight. But hang on. Close to cool. A little bit more health. Uses the acid. A little bit mistimed. Running towards heavy. But no! The missed rail at the last possible oh, minute! Oh, and another one. That could have been death. Oh, and there's the forward flip. The full 360 flip. Toxic going to take down that first life. There we go. Four minutes, 30 seconds. 30 seconds left to go. Does Toxic run away again? Razy can be able to chase him down in time. This is Anarchy. He has the speed, but Slash versus Anarchy, BFFs, unless $1 million is on the line. Well, here's the thing. Toxic lands a rail on Razy, and Razy probably survives, probably pops injection, but he's still going to have 76 HP and no armor. If he gets hit by another rail, he's going to be dead, like 100%. Oh, Toxic was being patient. The plasma trail. Toxic gets another frag on Razy. That is probably going to be all she wrote for the second map. I can't imagine Razy physically has the time to bring this one back, and that's going to be a complete turnaround from Toxic. When she, when you've got good movement and you combine your movement with Plasma Trail, she's, in many ways, she can be the fastest champion in the game of how quick she can navigate those little turns because combining that with Crouch Slide, she can go basically wherever she wants. But this is the final map of the series. Razy versus Toxic, the rematch. But this time, they're currently 1-1, but what a fantastic start! Bro. Hang on, not at all, the trade! Well, I can imagine no more of a perfect way to start this final map. With Slash goes both, down. <laughs> both of their star champions getting taken out immediately by each other at the exact same time. That is a great precedent to what I want the rest of this map to look like. Anarchy versus Nyx. Already caught Razy. The phase shift is going to concede that heavy armor. If he gets a good chase down, he might be able to seal this one, but I don't think Toxic's going to be too interested in fighting this all the way through. Just look at how little health he's got and the injection. Oh, That's going to... What well, a shot! That's just going to be a freeze frag rewarded by Mega. This round is uh, substantially better for Razy oh, so far. Oh, and caught a spawn. Toxic forced to inject, just trying to get away with the speed boost. He did manage to pick up a lightning gun just in time, but not quite enough damage. That round was much more of a comfortable pace for Razy. He was able to just command those fights and chase Toxic down immediately. You know, the crazy thing is that Blood Covenant was a very long-winded map this time round. Before we even almost got to a minute, first round already done. That's what can happen. Or what? Even Spawn, spawning even. right near that heavy armor is saw like happy days. I mean, heavy armor on a rail, nothing else yet. LG2, toxic. Question is what he could get. If he has the mega health, I assume he has the rocket, which he does, and there's a complete fight. 
Oh no, back to the corner. I don't know if he can safely get out here. There's damage over time too. That's probably guaranteed death and it will be racy. This is much more of a comfortable map that we saw from him beforehand. No trade here though. It's just going to be completely favorable for Razy getting that slash out of Toxic so early on. But again, it's the fact that he just walked around the corner, just happens to be point blank. That is only ever going to be a rage that Sawlag wants to be. Oh! Shot from behind, catching some sick air. Mega Health going to go the way of Razy too though, keep himself nice and topped up. Now how, how hard is Toxic going to chase this? We know he desperately wants to take out this Sawlag. There has been such a thorn in his side. There's no two ways about it. This Sawlag needs to die, and it needs to die right now. Less than a minute in though, and already Razy has got himself a comfortable lead. How long can he hold on to it though? Is Toxic with that next, next? The big thing about this matchup is going to be that Ghost Walk. Popping Ghost Walk is going to nullify any damage over time that might have been lingering beforehand. So if he does wander into an Acid Puddle and he just gets chased out, he can pop the Ghost Walk to nullify it completely, but Ghost Walk is an expensive thing to not have in a fight oh, and what no. a rail. Not only hitting a rail, but picking up the uh, mega health and just making that divide between health so much bigger because now you've got more they've got less that was really well played though toxic managing to slip away razy was actively trying to chase down where he thought toxic was going to go toxic able to keep himself hidden and stock himself back up again great situation for razy Funnily enough, if he wants to, he can be the one that plays passive. That's two rails, though. But still, this is sort of like we can see just how much health she still has. Oh, Passes no. coming through. No Ghost Walk available either. Has to pick up the health, but even if he survives this exchange, he cannot take a single substantial hit from anything. So the Toxic was able to do so much damage that Razy wasn't able to hang around to try and finish off the kill. Razy had to go and stock himself up himself. But he's going to get himself the heavy armor too, so that's going to be a tanky saw lag for now. You saw in that exchange, even though Toxic hit two rails and Razy hit nothing, Razy still had more health. And he's forcing him to run away with that Ghost Walk while he's going into Ghost Walk. And he's still this week. Oh, goes from in for the Mega. And just like that, can be as brave as he likes. A free fight again. Toxic I mean, down to his final champion. Toxic looked left, he looked right, he looked down. But he should have looked up in that situation. It was a big flying Sawlag with a rocket launcher up there with Acid. Still here. Oh, hits him with that too. That's going to be the kill, most likely. No, wait, no. He popped the injection just in time. At the magical moment. The problem is now, though, he is so weak. And I think Razy's going to acknowledge that. Freshly picking up the Mega Health too. If he finds Toxic now, Toxic is in big trouble. And he's right behind him. Or is he going to get away from this? He's trying to do as much damage as possible. Razy is going to get it. Toxic misses one crucial rocket. And that one mistake has put Razy one round away from moving on and sending Toxic back to the lower bracket. This and is a, round one. This is a change of pace. This is an unbelievable change of pace. We saw aggression in the first map. We saw the complete opposite in the second map. And in this final map situation, Razy just, he just keeps catching Toxic at the start of these rounds, point blank. And point blank is where Toxic cannot survive. He just can't tank this damage. So one round away from having a victory in this round robin scenario. So definitely still gonna have a chance to still make it out of this bracket. But obviously going down one game, someone like Razy, I mean, that's gonna put you in a situation you don't necessarily wanna be in. And he's lost Slash again. And it really has been his star champion in all three rounds lost immediately. Oh! What a shot on the direct rocket from around the corner. Toxic put in an absolutely miserable situation now. And Razy with the saw lag looking completely untouchable on Ruins of Sarnath. This is such a difficult situation. He's got a lightning gun. Goes in for the injection, try and survive. Damage over time. Just, oh, oh, didn't even need it. Oh, did not even need the ticking damage of that acid. Just the last final nail in the coffin. And the final play was a sick rail on Toxic.